guys, welcome back to another part of the Castaway series. That is so, so weird to say. Oh my god. Anyways, we are on episode two. So thank you guys so much for the support on the first part of this series. I'm so excited to show you guys the rest of it and delve in deep to the storyline because let's just say there's some things coming up. Ooh, I don't want to spoil out of it, but like... <laughs> Just wait, okay? I am the M. Night Shyamalan of Sim series, and that is self-proclaimed, therefore no one else has ever said that. But I now claim <laughs> that I am the M. Night Shyamalan of Super Series. Anyways, so if you missed the first part, first of all, what the bloody hell are you doing, babes? Go ahead and watch it now. It will be up in the left, right-hand corner. Jesus Christ, how old am I? And I don't know my left from my right. That's concerning. Anyways, but if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it now before we get into this episode. But if you have seen it, then hopefully you guys are excited to see the rest of the series and to get into it a bit more. So we are joined here with Micah who is um looking worse for wear let's just say that and she is asleep on this blanket well it's a blanket it's a towel it's a manky looking towel at least you know what I will say at least she's actually sleeping on something tonight I was gonna say and Hope is also no she's sort of sleeping just with her legs on there I don't know maybe that's comfortable I don't quite know um <laughs> so we are here it is 4 a.m it is a nice new day is it a nice new day let's have a look oh it actually uh well <laughs> It's look better. It's look better, actually. Oh, the sun's not up yet. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I know how the world works. <laughs> so as you guys can see, we have some lovely <laughs> things around us right now, including the bowl of chips, the other bowl of chips, and the roast chicken, which we managed to get from the sand. Don't ask me how, but clearly some people were snacking on here. Don't know what kind of party they were having. I don't quite know, but this is great because, well, this isn't great. This is not a great sight. The great thing is that they actually managed to eat. But Micah is currently feeling quite crap right now. She, well, I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Why wouldn't she be feeling crap? In what universe is she going to be taking this as a vacation? I don't know. She's very much needing hygiene because she's peed herself like 20 times within the last 24 hours. So honestly, she needs a good scrub. And she also has very little hunger. Although I will say I did get a mod, okay? And now we can click on the floor and press a bladder release. I don't like that it says pee and poo. Listen, okay? <laughs> Listen. I understand that Sims also pee and poop, but there's something about it being like just right there that just kind of grosses me out slightly. But like, I mean, yeah, you do you. The fact also the lack of toilet paper paper would really get to me immediately to be honest it appears that hope has woken up but Micah has yet to see this because she is fast asleep i think she's holding on to her arm because she is in a lot of pain it's really starting to get to her now like these cuts across her arm look so like oh just the thought of that is horrendous so we don't really know how she cut it but however it happened it is bad it is bad news and yeah she's just lying there like eh! I'm going to cry. Also, please ignore this mess of a UI at the top. I don't know what's happened, but clearly I'm just so great at updating my mods. Micah is finally waking up. She's done that thing again where as she's opened her eyes, she's realized that she is here and that it wasn't some, you know, nightmare. It was real life. And she's also just gotten very shocked because it appears that Hope just did a pee on the floor right there. I'm not going to lie. I was really hoping she'd maybe go behind a bush or something, but apparently not. Apparently her choice of, of, of urination station is <laughs> the, the sand right next to where they are right that's really unfortunate hopefully it sinks in fast because otherwise you can have quicksand and not a good kind not that quicksand is ever good one of biggest fears as well jesus christ i thought of that anyways micah honey bun sweetie baby what is that face i don't something about my main characters love to just have this face also i just want to say this is not halo okay many people in the comments thought that this was halo from my zombie series this is not halo totally different series there will be a second series to my zombie apocalypse series at some point but today is not that day so as micah has woken up. How is she feeling? She's still feeling very much like Hope is a stranger. It says Micah is currently engaging with a stranger. Who are they? She has no idea who Hope is. She doesn't know why she's here. So she's still feeling very weary around her, which is very fair enough. She's also afraid of the dark, so that's just wonderful. Another thing to add. I did not realize that. Oh my god, look at her fears already. Oh Jesus. That is not at all concerning. Fear of being judged. I think that was from peeing herself. Fear of swimming. Fair enough. Fear of failure. Eh, kind of fair enough. And fear of the dark. Fair enough. Honestly, if I was on this place, I think I would also be very scared of anything really so micah let's go ahead and get you over here into this bit those sharks over there really absolutely stress me out i don't even know if she can really swim around here like because she's obviously got a real big fear of the water so she's not going to enjoy any of this but she also knows that she needs to get herself cleaned up because i mean first of all these injuries are really going to cause her a lot of harm if she doesn't sort them out they say as they make her just swim in like horrible seawater which i'm sure does not do anyone any good when you've got all of these like cuts and bruises on you but okay that lasted so long babes 
I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, you know what? You're just so tense. Okay, I don't know how to make her feel not tense. <laughs> um, okay, maybe try go for a jog. I don't know where she'll jog though. Throw a tantrum. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like she's earned the right to shout some forbidden words and throw a tantrum. This is what the third day she's woken up here and every day is getting more and more infuriating to wake up and she's so angry and I feel like she's kind of going through the stages right now. Before she was obviously more just like upset and in shock but now she's just started feeling really angry at the world and really angry at everything for putting her in this situation. Oh you've entered a picky eater phase. That's such a great phase to enter when you are currently on an island where you literally cannot eat anything but spoiled food. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, love that. Right, anyways. But Micah is just feeling every emotion possible and it's all starting to build up in her. And she just honestly just started kicking at everything. She's kicking at this rock, which honestly would really hurt my toes. But still, she's just kicking everything around here. She's splashing the water. She's angry at those sharks over there because she can't just swim. And she's so scared to go in the water because of the sharks and because of it being the ocean in general. And she's angry at the world. She's angry at everything. She's angry at the fact she's here. She's angry at the fact that she's only 16 years old and she is in this scenario like it is uh, it's not good it's not good it is really really overwhelming and she really 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 hates more than anything that she has to deal with this by herself and she has no one i mean well she has hope but let's be honest the reason i titled last episode stranded and alone is because as much as hope is another person it doesn't matter you know she still feels by herself okay so after that she's kind of feeling very much still very tense to be honest i thought that was gonna have slightly helped her but clearly not maybe just keep throwing tantrums babes maybe just try go for a jog maybe just see if that'll help at all like just go and run around but she oh god this has lasted so long but you know what she has every right to be like that and she has every right to run for a rock as well apparently i mean that's just really great so she's gonna go ahead and go on a bit of a jog whilst hope has gone over and started looking around the island some more i really want her to be able to okay wow you're gonna just jog into the ocean are you no apparently <laughs> apparently no, okay apparently you just love rock climbing or rock going through Thing. She dislikes fitness. Wow. The one thing you could do on this island. Oh, for God's sakes. Fair enough. You know what? She's done enough swimming for one lifetime. I don't know. Okay. Ugh. I don't even know what to say. Like, she's so uncomfortable. Can she she can't do anything. Maybe just go pee behind like a bush. I don't feel like she wants to do it in front of someone like how Hope just did. Just slightly go into the ocean or something because at least that's slightly better. Okay. I don't know. The goal for today is honestly to get some sort of, I don't know, woodworking table or like a shower or a, a bed of sort of shelter. I mean, I guess we have a slight shelter but like a proper shelter. Basically just something that can help this out. And she's still, gosh, she's so angry. I honestly don't know what to say. Like I actually can't figure out a thing to do. Maybe cloud gaze. That might relax her slightly if she's just looking up in the sky. I don't know. I feel like, I guess it's somewhere to take her mind off it. And for God's sakes, I was just gonna say, I guess like looking at the clouds and like, you know, picking out or like thinking like, oh, that's something. Oh, that's something over there. It's literally just a clear sky. There's no, there is nothing. There is literally, and I say literally, there is literally nothing in the sky, no clouds. She's just gonna be looking at this lovely moon honestly it just looks like a light bulb and i feel like we're now in the truman show i don't know the whole of sims is basically the truman show and now i've just said that i kind of want to cry okay slightly getting a foot up a little bit how is she feeling sparks by clouds looking at the vast sky brings inspiration that anything is possible okay i feel like this is helping her a bit i mean it's still not ideal but i feel like it is helping her just kind of take her mind off things and just sort of relax a little bit you know think about nothing really except for just like wow pretty blue sky <laughs> what does she currently want to do she wants to clean in the whiteboard okay that would require we actually are uh, going to school which unfortunately i hate to tell you this babes is not happening she also wants to successfully socialize with a new sim who <laughs> Who are you going to socialize with? And she also wants to have some fun. Okay, come on. Surely that's what you're doing right now. There we go. Okay, you've done something. She now wants to clean herself, but we don't have a shower or anything. So I still don't know how that's going to be possible. I wish I could like put these somewhere. It's annoying me that they just like sat on the floor. I'm going to just like move them to like as far away as I can. Hopefully that'll make them like less upset. And then hopefully she'll be able to actually do something. So Hope has just gotten back from cutting down some trees and looking around the island some more. So she's just come on over to Micah and she's just said, oh, I've just, I managed to get a bit more wood um so i'm thinking maybe we could make like a, a workbench or something um and we can start making like some like a shower or something like that or i don't know uh something along that along those lines maybe um did you did you uh did you do did you do anything have you have you gotten anything or and micah just looks on over at hope and it's just like oh my god she's doing this stuff and she's doing stuff and i've been cloud gazing the entire day like it is dinner time not that they know that but like the, the sun is like in the middle of the sky it is obviously near the midday already and i've done nothing like i what am i even doing and she 
she feels so guilty about it. So she just says to Hope, um, uh, um, <clears throat> no, I am, um, uh, not, 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 not yet. I'll, um, I'll do, I'll go do something. I'll go, I'll go get us something. And Hope just looks over at Micah and just like kind of wide as her eyes before just walking away and starting working on a woodworking table. As you can see, these guys have a really bad relationship so far. They have awful compatibility according to this. So that's not a good start to be honest. So Hope's gone ahead and walked away. But Micah is feeling like so unbelievably guilty. I mean, you're gonna, aren't you? Like if the other person is like doing all this stuff. Also the fact this boat's there just peeing me off. That does not exist. This is not canon, okay? But she's feeling really guilty. So she's like, okay, I gotta get my act together. Her, like you know she just thinks like she's got to do something to help them survive so ugh, i was gonna say she's gonna go ahead and beach comb but she still can't she needs food and she needs hygiene so she's gonna have to just go in this this water i mean she oh for god's sakes please you're too uncomfortable honey you can't be too uncomfortable are you there's not seriously bees oh my god for the love of god it just came up then i was like are you joking me there's gonna be bees right now come on surely the hygiene's gotta be going up slightly can you not like clean yourself in the water like i don't see why that's not a thing like what do you mean <laughs> we're in the water why can't we do this okay clearly this is simply not working she is is honestly feeling worse than she did before. So that's that's my bad, guys. That's my bad. Thought that was gonna have done the trick, but clearly not. Okay. Also, swimming near trash, this water feels as if it's sticking to my cat. Gross. I mean, honey bun, sweetie baby. I appreciate it and I totally agree. But at the same time, given that you have a stink, literal like smell behind you, I feel like this is not the worst place to be in. But that's just my personal opinion. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. But I feel like you are giving a trash bag with the scent coming out of you. Like, look at that trail. Can you even see that? Oh my god. Look at it. It. Actually dreadful. This is some like Simpsons type thing. Okay, Micah is just so hungry. She's feeling very, very, very hungry. She becomes ravenous in 10 hours, which is really bad. But she's gone ahead and stopped with the swimming now. And as she comes back over to the little shelter to see, you know, what Hope's doing, she sees that there is a woodworking table, a fully crafted, I mean, let's be honest, it does not look this good, okay? We do not have those capabilities to do all of this stuff, but we've at very least, you know, made something and something has happened. And clearly, Hope has done that unless some, you know, weird Sims god might have put it there but i i believe that it was hope that did that uh so she's farted again hope honey i don't know what's going on in this place that makes everyone fart so much but clearly there's something so micah has come back over to hope to see that this is all done and she just goes over to hope and she's like i, I this this is this is incredible how did you um how did you do that how did you do that i i haven't i haven't done anything and hope just says i just i don't know it just i just did it and uh, yeah i'm just gonna cut down some more trees okay and let's just try and get us i don't know like something to shower in or something because um because <clears throat> yeah you're uh yeah <laughs> and hope's just gonna go ahead and walk away and go back over to the trees to chop more down and as she leaves micah just starts to tear up a lot she literally just can't fathom how well hope's doing and it makes her feel really bad about herself because she feels like why aren't i being this strong like why why can't i be doing this why can't i be helping out why why am i just like forcing this person i don't even know to like do all this stuff and why can't i get us some food or, or get us some wood as well or, or craft something and instead she can't do anything like her body hasn't been able to do anything like she can't even wash like that's the point she's at right now and she's just closing her eyes and and just looking up. <laughs> okay, maybe not looking up. <laughs> looking over to the sunset as it's going down. As Hope's just gone out to get some more wood. And she's looking over to the table. And she's just thinking like, I mean, right now, she might be dead if it wasn't for Hope being here. So as much as they're not getting on that well right now, Micah's kind of starting to feel, well, obviously very grateful that Hope's there. She's still very weary of her. But she's at least being appreciative of Hope, even if she's not going to say it to her directly. I'm not going to lie, that sunset is so beautiful. Like, are you joking me right now? Ignore the person there. That's not real. But look at this. Are you kidding me? You know, I mean... Give it, I, I don't know if I'd, I'd like to do this whole thing, but man, if I got to see the sunset, maybe it's all worth it. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd die. Oh, wait, she successfully conquered a fear. What did she do? I have literally no idea what she managed to accomplish. Oh, fear of the ocean? She's gotten rid of that. <gasps> oh my god, legendary behavior. Okay, that's good. Maybe just swimming around there, realizing that the sharks were in the distance really actually helped her. That's great because I, the hygiene thing is a real issue at this point. No way, I just pressed stargaze and she decided to look up to the beautiful.
beautiful stars. Just kidding. That is some top. Okay. Well, you know what? I mean, whatever floats your boat, babes. Whatever, whatever you want to do, you know, it's not, I'm not in, you know, <laughs> it's fine. Oh my God. Wow. Look at all of the beautiful stars. Like literally look at this beautiful view she's got to look at. That sounded weird as I just saw Hope's bum, but I mean, look at this <laughs> and she's like choosing to just look up at, you know what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is, maybe that's fun. I don't, I, I've never been in this situation, so I couldn't, I couldn't really tell you to be honest, but I just, it's personal. I just wouldn't assume. I just would not assume that, that would be the best thing to do. It seems that Hope has gone to sleep next to her. I don't know what this distance is between them, but the fact that she's not underneath that is so bothersome to me, but here we are. And Micah is still looking up at the top and really just looking at the stars, you know, <laughs> and trying to kind of, I guess, look at the positives. It's not working. Let's be honest. The positives, it, it, she ain't seen them yet. She is not seeing them. She is not smiling. She is not happy. She is still not doing great. Not doing great. Yeah. <laughs> Slay. And finally, there she goes, going to sleep with stench lines off both of them, actually, this time. Yay. Love that for us. Uh, and trying to get some rest. I think she's gone off to sleep a little bit faster tonight. But at the same time, she's also starving. So her stomach is really rumbling and she's really, really, really hungry. She feels like she needs to eat so badly. As she's dreaming, she could probably just think about cheeseburgers and fries and bacon and sausages and honestly every single food she's thinking about even if it's like a carrot you know to be fair i love carrots okay uh but still <laughs> <sighs> Okay, it's the next morning. Micah is waking up from her sleep and I have a bad feeling that something's gonna happen. Please don't actually happen. Please, first of all, don't pee yourself. Second of all, I feel as though we might have an incident coming up. Yeah, here they are. Oh God, I hate this bit so much. It literally makes my toes curl. Like I just, I, you know what it is? I don't mind that bit. I mean, to be fair, I do. I've had that happen to me before, which is even worse. But it's this bit when it's by the feet <gasps> and it's by, oh my God, it might have just gone over to hope. Oh my God, kill me now. I don't even, oh my God, okay. I'm gonna cry. Okay, cool. Right, anyways, maybe come over here and go ahead and pee. I don't know when she's gonna need to poo, okay? But I ain't gonna click that option. She has every kind of uncomfort right now, especially given the fact that she literally just got, you know, mauled by bloody thingamabobs. By thingamabobs, I mean spiders. I don't know why I just call them thingamabobs. That is too lovely of a way to call spiders, okay? They're horrible, the little beasts. Let's go ahead and try to comb the beach for some trash. She's woken up and it's 5 a.m. Jesus Christ. Like, why would you get up at this early? I don't know. I mean, again, early start. I don't know what, for what reason, but sure. And she's starting to look around the beach a little bit. Okay, we've got trout. Can we eat that? No. So helpful. Thank you so much, sweetie. Love that for you. <laughs> I just love that for you. Why? And a kitchen upgrade part. You are really spoiling us today, aren't you? Wow, there's so much stuff on this lovely beach. So much stuff. I'm just joking. This is dreadful. Why is there never anything good? Okay. I mean, to be fair, we are on a very tiny island. I don't know what magic things will be there. Oh, apparently, Isis Fulani. How much is that worth? 295 smoke. That'd be great if we could sell it, but we are in the middle of nowhere. Okay, 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 chips. Chips, spoiled, don't care, could not care less. Eat the chips, for the love of God. Please just eat the chips. Oh, that one bite. You know what? That one bite of spoiled crisps would honestly, that would be wonderful. That is so wonderful for her. She's like, this is the most disgusting thing. Hopefully they don't have mold on them, because if they do, I'm going to cry. But, and she's there like, oh, that was disgusting. But also, she's so relieved, because her stomach is slightly more full now, and she's slightly better. She's feeling ever, so, even that ever so slight little, like, one crisp that she found on the floor in the sand. It would be all sandy. It'd be all moldy. It it'd be, oh, you know what? I'm, I can't talk about this because I'm literally going to feel so nauseous if I keep talking about it. But you know what? Her hunger's gone up a lot. So clearly those crisps were enough. Her hygiene's still really bad, but I can't really do anything about that. Like there's literally no options. Also, it appears that her SOS sign has already gone. I don't know whether it was because, I don't know if the tide comes up in the night or something, but she's going to draw it again to make sure that just in case anything comes over. Unfortunately, so far, we haven't heard a single plane, helicopter, anything come over, but maybe that'll change. And if it does, then and hopefully this will, you know, draw attention to them. Because other than that, they don't really have any other way of saying, we're here, you know? Come on, beachcomb. Come on, beachcomb. For the love of God. Electronic upgrade part. Gee whiz. And the heart of Solani. Wow. Oh, man. This might take a while. And Micah's just looked over to see that Hope has been swarmed by bees. I mean, at least it's not Micah this time. But at the same time, still not ideal. So, yeah. She's just looked over at that and seen that happen. Unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate. Micah's just looked over to see that 
Hope is also heading out. She doesn't really know where she's going to, what she's trying to get, but she's heading over to maybe the other part. I, honestly, it's not that big of an island, but maybe just like on here or like in the grass bits or something, she can go ahead and look. I don't know what she does when she goes out there, but apparently she does something. Did we get anything? Still just the heart of Sulani. Yippee! And now she's too uncomfortable. What happened? Pinched by a crab. Ouch, that crab pinched hard and also touched something gross. Let us never speak of what we was touched. You know what? I hate to say it. 99% sure that Hope peed like right here and you are literally digging up right here. I hope that Hope, huh? Hope that Hope. Hope that Hope just peed. But let's be honest, the option also being that she can poo. I don't know. Okay, and I'm not one to name names or one to, you know, question what happened over there. But if you were digging around and something, I... Unfortunate. At least you have no idea what to make her do because she's just so uncomfortable about everything. There's like no option. Like she's so stinky, but we don't have a shower. We need to make a shower. I don't even know how we're gonna do that. I uh, there's not that many options on here. That's the issue. Like unless we're really high at handiness stuff. So I don't know how that's gonna work. But as my crew stood here, she is thinking about. Well, she's smelling herself. Let's just say that because you know, it, I mean, it's, it'd be hard not to. And because Hope's out and she's like doing something, she doesn't know what she's doing, but she's obviously out doing something and she's you know working on getting stuff for them and micah's just stood here micah is like okay i need to do something and as much as she is still not really thinking that straight she thinks okay i can make a, a shower we can i can do that all she needs is some water and like a little bucket or like something like a bucket which she can make out of like some trees or even like that bucket you know like they're not even using the toilet bucket she could use that instead like wash it out first of all yeah please very much wash it out um and then use that and then to put it on like the tree or something like that can't be that difficult right like so she She's just thinking to herself, I can do this. I can make that if I just put this together and this together and put some water in it. I can make a shower and then I've done something and 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 I'm I've, I've, I'm making most of this situation right. Don't joke. This something's not happened again, has it? No. What? What's happened? <gasps> not again! Not again! Not while she's being productive. You swines! You absolute swines! You soddy McSods! You. <gasps> uh. What? <laughs> What? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Something isn't right. The icky feeling could either go away on its own or will get worse. Only time will tell. Maybe a crying an an antidote will be safest. Honey button. What? I did not know that was a feature. No. 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 No, that's not happening. No. Micah. No. Oh my god. Well, this just added a new bit of challenge. Okay, she's gonna die then, apparently, if we don't get her So apparently we now have a time limit. Micah has just gotten bitten and as she's you just burped in my face. Like, literally in my face. For the love of God, I'm just trying to help you, person, okay? I'm just trying to help you, woman. And she's just gotten bitten, and she's looking down, and she's like, oh my God, I'm all rashed. I've got rashes everywhere. And she's starting to freak out a little bit because she's in the middle of making the shower, and she's realizing that she's now just been bitten, and it's starting to hurt quite a bit. She's scratching and scratching, even though she knows that's probably the wrong thing to do in this situation, but she can't help it because it's really itching, and it's really burning. Oh, God. And the fact that it's on, like, her all of her injuries as well. She's just in pain. The point now where, like, all of the injuries have probably stopped hurting because of the rash. So I guess, you know, swings and roundabouts or whatever. But despite feeling really crap and despite having all of this on her now, she's gonna power through and she's gonna make that shower. She is determined. She's like, I'm gonna do this. I've gotta do this right now because that could help her, like, get rid of the rashes or get rid of the, the like, make the burns feel a little bit better. So she is absolutely determined and she's gonna finish making this goddamn shower. Okay, if it's the last thing she does. Okay, and here it is, right next to the water so she can keep filling it up. She's managed to make a little makeshift shower. It is, I mean, I don't know how helpful this is. Unfortunately, she did have to use the bucket that they did have as a toilet. So she doesn't know how Hope's gonna feel about that because, you know, she did just kind of steal that. But at the same time, they couldn't actually go in it because it was full. So, I mean, you know, this is more useful, surely, because Hope is also very stinky, or at least Micah thinks she is. And I say thinks she is, and I mean, she can tell she is, you know? So she is washing herself off. She's in so much pain, again, because this is the seawater, but she's managing to at least sort of help that slightly. It's helping her a little bit and she's feeling quite relieved having a shower and just like she's scrubbing, okay? This is like the first shower she had in days and she's really scrubbing and she feels so much better now she's had it. As you can see, she just managed to use a few twigs. She managed to get some branches like these that are like these little trees on the floor. She managed to pick a few of those out and put them on top of each other, connecting them probably with a bit of her shirt or something or like anything that she had with her. Like, you know, she had to cut a bit of a shirt off so that she could do that and then obviously just attach that bucket at the top. Oh god, that looks disgusting. But, you know, uh, it's better than having to swim next to sharks. So, I <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. So, Micah is just gonna call over Hope 
and show her what she's done. And my cat, oh my gosh, she looks so dazed. Oh, babes. This bite is not treating her well, but she's just gonna say, oh, look, um, I uh, I made this it's a little, it's a little, little, little shower. Um, I just used it. You can just fill it up and then and then we can we can actually be, be clean, right? And um, <clears throat> that's, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for um, not really you know, uh, doing like, <laughs> anything i just i don't know how to how to do this and it's just it's a lot okay it's it's just it's just it's a lot and it's it's i don't you know and uh, and hope just says no, 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 it's fine for god's sake stop fighting <laughs> no no it's uh it's fine I, I get it okay just th thank you for this that'll be uh that'll be great i'm gonna i'm gonna use it now if that's okay and micah's just like yeah um, yeah sh sure yeah so micah is gonna go ahead and come over here so that hope can use the shower oh my god micah babes look at you oh jesus christ not ideal so even though it's not you know <laughs> the most amazing shower in the world micah's feeling happy and honestly she's slightly got a smile on her face for the first time since she got here and she feels proud of herself for managing to do something like that she's not an independent person at all she's the most dependent person normally so doing that by herself especially given the fact that she's gotten bitten and she's not feeling good and she's feeling very dazed she's very happy that i'd say very happy is an over exaggeration but she's at least feeling you know good about the fact that she's managed to do this and hope's just come on over back to micah and just said that was uh that was that was great thank you that was that was uh yeah that was great uh, thanks for doing that. I uh, I got some. I managed to get a couple plants. I don't know if they're uh, <coughs> like you know we can eat them or not, but um, I, I I guess we'll. What else are we gonna? Do. so yeah um i'll uh do you want to plant these and i can carry on doing the woodworking and micah's like oh yeah yeah um, <clears throat> of course yeah that'd be uh that'd be yeah i can do that i can i can i can do that yeah so hope's gonna go ahead and give micah some crops that she managed to get so we don't really know which ones grow but i think if we just plant them all do any of them grow in summer literally just a bell pepper okay less than ideal but that's okay maybe we'll just plant it like there just right near us and plant that i honestly think it's best to just plant them all because obviously Micah doesn't know which ones, you know, she should be planting. She has no idea about any of this stuff. She's never gardened before in her entire life. So this is going to be an experience to say the least. But here we are. And oh, okay. Apparently Hope's going to go ahead and water the plants. Oh, okay. We can't even water these. It says it's not in season. So that's not going to happen. But we'll just leave them there anyways. Because I mean, what else are we going to possibly do? And let's just carry on getting trash. Seeing if we can get any food of any sort. I mean, the thing is we have like fish, but we just can't eat them. Because we have nowhere of putting them. I'd like to grill them or anything like that. So we really need to get like a little fire or something. I don't know. Like the priorities are difficult with this because on the one hand, I feel like, you know, the, the shower was a good thing and like the woodworking table, but at the same time, that's going to take ages probably for them to be able to even be able to make anything important. So I got pinched again. Jesus Christ. Can you please stop this? It's <laughs> so aggravating. I just realized we should have really ate this rather than planting it. Okay. <clears throat> that's really my mistake. I am so sorry. Why did I just not think of that until this minute? I don't quite know. Yeah. Well, that just, that's, yeah. Wow. That's really great. But Micah's going to go ahead and help Hope cut down some trees. Saying help Hope is the most unusual thing to say. Help Hope. Tongue twister. Okay. Tongue twister. Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently, without my doing, Micah is like, yeah, you know what? I'm in a woodwork. Honestly, good for you, honey bun. I did not choose this, but like, yeah, sure. Go for it. I was, I thought the Hope was going to carry on doing it, but apparently not. Whoa. That is crazy to look at that is such a cool shot anyways i think the micro saw of that hope was just busy trying to look through the sand and trying to scavenge for that kind of stuff that she just thought you know what i've just gone to get some wood i can try my hand at this i don't know what she's actually making a horse sculpture which apparently she stopped now come on hurry up i want you to do this can she not do it she just can't she can't do it okay great that's just wonderful that's just so wonderful <gasps> wait she was su successfully able to overcome being poisonous for so much better thank god oh my god i honestly thought that was gonna be the end of the series i was like okay guys it's been fun <laughs> I genuinely that was actually really scary okay i'm very happy about that thank god that was a real crisis averted situation and on that note it appears both of them have gotten to sleep <sighs> Oh! <gasps>
Micah went to sleep first. She is exhausted from doing that. Oh my god, did someone just... Okay, never mind. I thought that Hope had scrapped it. I was like, are you joking me right now? Like, her one thing that she's doing. But Micah has gone to sleep feeling a little bit better. And also, overall, feeling slightly more positive despite everything. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of this series so far in the comments down below. And let me know what you think is going to happen in the future of this series. I love hearing you guys' opinions. And I love reading your comments. It's my favorite part of uploading a video. So comment anything you want in the comments. I could not care what it is. I just want to read them. Okay. I love it so much. So remember to like and subscribe to everyone. And I'll see you guys in the video. I love you guys. Bye. That was actually really good. You know what? I'm a talented singer. I am. I truly am. Okay. Bye.